All righty then. Today, we are going to chitty chat, chitty chat about managing or using our food storage. Ignore this because my hair woke up and is determined to believe it is 1980. So I got the big hair. This is COVID hair. I do not feel like waiting four weeks to get an appointment and sit there with a mask. It's just hair, okay? I done caught my man. I don't care. I actually had my husband trim it the other day. Hence, zoo hair. It happens. So, what did you learn in COVID, right? In the big lockdown of having, say, two adults and three kids home. That's something important of what to use that's in your house. You know, I store food, right? But we have a plan for using it, even though there's only two adults in this house. So there ain't no free feeding here when you're trying not to the gro go to the grocery for four or five weeks. For example, my husband can't have a buddy over and decide, woo, we're gonna have a Bloody Mary. I don't drink the alcohol and go get a couple of my tomato juices. No, no, no. We can those, got a video on us using our Victorio, right? And my husband helps me process our tomatoes. So to us, there is a lockdown on the food that we use. Eight years ago, I decided even with coupons, cereal was not a sustainable breakfast food. And let me tell you, I was hooked on the Raisin Bran Crunch and the Honey Nut Cheerios. Took me three weeks of torture, okay, to eat alternative things for breakfast. And if you have kids and you couldn't get milk or you couldn't find cereal, it's something important to think about. So let's know so instead of cereal, I decided I like things like Quaker Oats, okay? These are microwavable. Of course, I have the regular can or uh, cardboard containers of Quaker Oats. Breakfast Essentials was another one. Uh, and if we did not have milk, I can use instant milk. And there is a difference between instant milk and non-fat powdered milk. The next time I get these, I'll get smaller containers because these go bad. You can tell when you open them, they're yellowed and they have a smell to them. Also, muscle milk is something else that I like. So there are alternatives to having cereal or bacon and eggs or sausage and eggs or pancakes. As you know, I am a cannon maniac. For example, here is some pork butt, 2020 July. All right, my husband cannot at will just decide, man, I feel like a pork butt sandwich, right? Let's say that we have hamburger buns. He's gonna ask me, what are those designed for? What are those designated for? Because we could not find hamburger buns right in the lockdown even if we had wanted to go to the store 35 minutes away so i made my own so he would not just at will go woo for lunch i'm gonna have me a pork butt sandwich that's not how we roll this is my favorite white bread okay but i make my own bread growing up and i am 63 years old there was one bread and it's what my mother made right her own white bread recipe and that was our hot dog bun our hamburger bun our sandwich bun our peanut butter and jelly bun sometimes we only had a bottom piece right a one piece of bread with peanut butter and jelly on it or turkey on it and a tomato and a little bit of mayonnaise so we had to have yeast and flour i keep my instant yeast in a jar naturally with an old uh small mouth lid on it and i keep it in the refrigerator and i always have a package of backup and of course I have flour and again I freeze that for seven days before I put it in say a Maxwell house container or something like that so that um, it is fresh right and I don't get any bugs with it so can you make bread what did you feed your family what is your plan when you have two adults two or three kids home what is specifically your breakfast menu because what about fruit I like fruit cocktail. We've eaten our cans of fruit cocktail through the four or five weeks we didn't go to the grocery store. So now we've got lots of pineapple here. I tend to dehydrate these. I do keep them on a piece of aluminum foil because you know these cans can pop, especially the ones with these flip lids. Of chicken salad, so always have plenty of home canned chicken. If you don't, you can buy the white chicken in a can that has no additives to it. 
plenty of pastas on sale, on hand, right? Spaghetti, pennies, anything that you have. Rotini, seashells. You can be amazed what you can do with a can of uh, marinara sauce from the store if you don't make your own and add some crusty bread to it. It's very filling, very satisfying. Keeping a home and menu planning you do not have to can, you do not have to dehydrate. They sell sweet taters in a can at the grocery store. They sell white taters in a can at the grocery store. Uh, spaghetti and marinara sauces. You don't have to dehydrate, okay? You don't have to make your own bread. But it could have come in handy when you think about what skills did you lack to prepare meals for your family when you just had a two week quarantine. And this is the same plan that we've always had because I live in a hurricane zone. We have king tides and our house is surrounded by water. It's why I'm nine or 12 feet. I get it wrong every time I make my husband mental in the air for that very reason. So it's no, what was shocking for people who don't live in those type areas is that they couldn't find the things they need at the grocery. So we're right back to the importance of food storage, the two part video I did what skills did you lack or your spouse? You're not in this alone if you're a couple, right? And raising kids, hone those skills. Maybe you only learn how to make bread, your basic loaf of white bread, which you can turn into a hot dog bun or a hamburger bun if you absolutely positively have those. So get back to the basics of homemaking. You don't have to can, you don't have to dehydrate. It's way less expensive for me. We enjoy growing vegetables, but everybody has a farmer's market by their house. But during that two week quarantine, you couldn't get there. So look at the things, make a menu. What was your family really missing during that time that you need to learn how to make? Make a breakfast, lunch, and dinner plan, right? And I'm not having company over during that, certainly. I would certainly make some loaves of white bread for some neighbors, leave them out at the bottom of my stairs and let them come get them. But remember, we're trying to avoid each other. Get some skills, right? Unless you have a really big freezer and you wanna freeze a lot of bread, making bread ain't rocket scientists and science and there's millions of videos on YouTube. Look at the needy homesteader, right? She makes very, very good detailed videos and you will have a no-fail recipe. Uh, we made a lot of pizza, so we had canned from the store, but they're always in our pantry, black olives. I have sun-dried tomatoes that I dehydrated, and then I put in my sucky bags in my freezer. You can buy sun-dried tomatoes. Start now stocking your pantry if you have to buy those things from the grocery store. But let's get back to well-balanced meals and having some homemaking skills. Our moms, I'm 63, remember, there was no going to the grocery store every week, right? There was limited money. In the summer, we did not eat any meat. It was all what we grew in our garden, right? So that was, it could be three vegetables and a salad, right? Sometimes a little bit of mayonnaise was our salad dressing, but you don't have to have, for those who continue to go to uh, pizza shops and takeouts from uh, taco places and the burger joints. You're spending a fortune on processed food. And that little bit of lettuce does not count as a salad on your hamburger. Shocking news, I know. So learn how to make some of those things, right? It's not rocket science, it's homemaking. What were you without for that two week lockdown stuck in your house and if one of you was going to the grocery store, what could you not find? Learn to make a meal plan. This is likely to happen again. It can happen with storms. It can happen with a, this was a food making it to the store shortage, right? And with riots and other things we're having, what if your trucks can't get to your local Walmart or your grocery store or your Target? What are you ready for? Make a meal plan for your family. Don't have to can, don't have to dehydrate. You're just gonna spend more money buying that stuff. If you are not stocking up, I am slowly refilling all the jars that I use because we could have a hurricane, we could have high tides, we could get sick, 
not want to go to the grocery store, make a plan. Homemaking, get back to the basics of it. If I can do it, you can do it, ain't nothing but a mouse.